Hello everybody, it's your boy Chill Will, and today on this episode of Movies I Love, I have Pay It Forward, released on October 20th, 2000, aka Maya Wyman's birthday, aka my Instagram crush's birthday, and this movie stars Haley Joel Osment, Helen Hunt, Kevin Spacey, Jay Moore, James Caviezel, or Jim Caviezel if you want to get modern about this, John Bon Jovi, and Angie Dickinson, and directed by Mimi Redan, based on the book by Catherine Ryan Hyde. And this movie follows Haley Joel Osment, who plays Trevor, McKinley, who starts a chain reaction of goodness for a social studies project in this bittersweet and uplifting tale. And before I get into this movie, who recommended this movie to me and why do I like it so much? So this movie was recommended to me by Ava Courtney, my dad's best friend's daughter, who has a twin brother named Brendan and they live in Nashville, Tennessee now, but they used to live in Garden Valley, Pennsylvania, which is in Delaware County, I think. Right near Philadelphia. And this is one of her favorite movies, so I'm doing this for her. And because my friend Debbie Statz recommended On the Basis of Sex, which is also directed by Mimi Leda, who directed 1997's The Peacemaker, 1998's Deep Impact, and 2018's On the Basis of Sex, And I really like this movie because it tells a very uplifting and fun to watch story. It's a very year 2000 movie, the most year 2000 movie of all time, arguably. And it just feels like home when I watch it because it's set in the desert. I wish it was set in like Scottsdale though. That would make the movie even better rather than Las Vegas. Apparently the book that this was based on had Mr. Signole, I think his name is in the movie. Edward Signole, played by Kevin Spacey. He was African-American in the book. And I think was initially intended to be played by Denzel Washington. And I really like this movie because it's set in middle school and I actually liked middle school, seventh grade. Even though seventh grade was hell for me, I really couldn't stand seventh grade because my friends Camden Tenorio and Al Tenriculu moved away that time. Anyways, I'd have to give this movie a 9.5 out of 10. That'll be my review and watch good movies, my homies.